Almighty God, humbly acknowledging our need for thy guidance in all things and laying aside all private and personal interests, we beseech thee to grant that we may conduct the affairs of this house and of our country to the glory of thy holy name, the maintenance of true religion and justice, the honour of the Queen, and the public welfare, peace and tranquillity of New Zealand. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. It's, I think the rules as far as um, use of electronic devices in here have changed somewhat. I just want to ask Sue whether it is appropriate for the Minister of Social Development to be tweeting or, or texting no order. during prayers. Order. order. Members know that I've been pretty relaxed about uh, people using, uh, uh, so long as phones don't ring in this place, using modern communications technology and uh, uh, I don't think we need members sort of uh, telling on each other like that. Order. Order. I'm on my feet. Order. I wish to advise the House. Order. I wish to advise the House that I have received a letter from the Honourable Chris Carter resigning his seat in the House with effect at the close of 30 September 2011. Are there any petitions? The petition of Jeff Annals on behalf of the New Zealand Nurses Organisation and the Service and Food Workers Union requesting that the House note that 10,607 people have supported a campaign to ask the Government to properly fund aged care services in New Zealand and that the House urge the Government to do the what the campaign asks. Are there any papers? Reports for 2010-11 from the Commerce Commission, the Government Superannuation Fund Authority, Statistics New Zealand, the New Zealand Conservation Authority, the New Zealand Customs Service and the Takeovers Panel, Superannuation Schemes Report of the Financial Markets Authority for the year ended 30 June 2011, Report of the Financial Markets Authority in respect of the Kiwi Saver Act 2006 for the year ended 30 June 2011. I hereby present two reports, the report of the parliamentary delegation led by the Speaker to Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay and Chile, 21 May to 2 June 2011, and the annual report 2010-11 for the Controller and Auditor General. Those papers are published under the authority of the House. I uh, hereby present two further reports from the Controller and Auditor General. Uh, first, the Treasury implementing and managing the Crown Retail Deposit Guarantee Scheme and Transpower New Zealand Limited managing risks to transmission assets. Are there any select committee reports? Reports of the Commerce Committee, an interim report on the Regulatory Standards Bill, and a report on the report from the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment on smart electricity meters, how households and the environment can benefit. Reports of the Health Committee, on a briefing from the National Health IT Board and on the Sleepover Wages Settlement Bill. Reports of the Justice and Electoral Committee, on the Video Camera Surveillance Temporary Measures Bill and a special report providing the uncorrected transcripts from the hearings of evidence on the Video Camera Surveillance Temporary Measures Bill. Report of the Primary Production Committee on its briefing on the Walking Access Commission's Public Access Mapping System. Reports of the Social Services Committee, an interim report on an inquiry into boarding houses in New Zealand and a report on the petition of Graham Axford. The bills are set down for second reading. The report uh, on the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment's report on smart electricity meters. The reports on the briefings from the National Health IT Board and the Walking Access Commission's mapping system. The interim reports on the Regulatory Standards Bill and the inquiry into boarding houses and the special report providing the uncorrected transcripts on the hearings of evidence on the video camera surveillance temporary measures bill are all set down for consideration. Are there any bills for introduction? International Finance Agreements Amendment Bill introduction. Nati Marquino Claims Settlement Bill introduction. 
Heritage New Zealand Pohiri Taonga Bill introduction. Those bills introduced are set down for first reading. The House now comes to questions for oral.